Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about something I get asked all the time. What is the best adhesive to use with foam? I'll show you two options that are my favorite, plus a couple of tricks on how to best use it. So let's get started. First things first, we almost exclusively use the white version of Gorilla Glue for all of our foam projects. If we aren't using Gorilla Glue, we use Great Stuff Expanding Foam. These two products work similarly, but their application is different. Let me show you what I mean. Let's start with the white Gorilla Glue. When I'm using Gorilla Glue, it's important to dampen the surfaces you'll be bonding, since it's moisture activated. So I'll start by spraying down my foam with a spray bottle of water. It doesn't need to be much. Once the foam is damp, apply your glue sparingly, since it expands, and press the two pieces together, smearing the glue around before allowing it to dry. I like to use bamboo skewers or pieces of wire at opposing 45 degree angles or clamps to help keep everything aligned as it dries. Because the glue is moisture activated, it begins to foam up as it cures, which makes it bond better to the foam. Almost as though it becomes a part of the two pieces you're gluing together. As an added benefit, Gorilla Glue is waterproof and can be painted or stained. My second choice is Great Stuff Expanding Foam. I had this can left over from our fake tree stump project, but any version of Great Stuff will do. The bond is similar to that of Gorilla Glue, it's just a bit messier. But if you're gluing large surfaces together, this is your best option. Clamp or skewer it in place and allow it to cure. While we wait for them to both fully cure, let's take a look at what happens when Gorilla Glue is activated by water. As you can see, it's a great way to fill some small gaps in your project and to add reinforcement to mitered corners. Plus, it's just fun to watch. After waiting 15 minutes, you can see that the great stuff hasn't fully cured. The Gorilla Glue, on the other hand, is near its final cure, and you could easily move on to the next part of your build. Both adhesives have small gaps that have expanded out beyond the edge of the foam, but it can be trimmed off with a razor blade or a utility knife. Now that they're both fully cured, let's give them a strength test. First up is the Gorilla Glue. No surprise here, this bond is really strong. And the great stuff? Just as strong. Now you can see why these are our go-to choices for gluing foam together. Well, there you have it. Our top two adhesives for use with foam. What are some of yours? Leave us a note down in the comments and we can see what you think. If you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and click the notification bell to be alerted the next time we put out another one. And until next time, happy haunting.